child of wonder Bound her own Like the wind He ain't got no home The road is long Till journeys in On Jordan's banks One day I'll stand The sun is hot The rain is cold O'er the mountain I'll rest my soul Plant my feet And the promised land On Jordan's banks One day I'll stand Just clean from this troubled world I've seen, and with the sons of Abraham on Jordan's banks, one day I'll stand. Take me home, walk me down Jerusalem Road till we reach Sweet Beulah Land on Jordan's banks One day I'll stand Hey y'all, welcome back to Sessions at Higher Ground and we just heard from Chris and Elizabeth Golden. Uh, you guys, an incredible song. We're not gonna mess around too much talking about uh, getting into this interview. I just wanna ask you, Chris, tell us a little bit about this song and where it came. It's a special song to me for a couple of reasons. I was, uh, there was a little hometown club that we had called the Bell Cove Club in Hendersonville and they had a songwriter's night there every week and uh, I used to go visit it because I always loved to hear the singer, the songwriters singing their own songs. And uh, it was all country, you know, about tailgate and the Dixie cup and the moonlight and the sip sip and the tan legs. All on a red all, dirt all, road. All, all that, yeah. right. And uh, I heard a guy singing this song and it touched me so much that I, I cried in a, in a nightclub. And uh, I always thought if I ever record a gospel song, I want to record that song. His name was Donnie Clark. Uh, on Jordan's banks, I got an opportunity to go to Israel about four years ago, and I was doing the music at all the different sites, historical sites, and on that particular day, we all got to go to the Jordan River, and I sang that song, uh, and there were a lot of other groups that, they, some of them didn't even speak English, but there were other groups there, and they all gathered around while I was singing that song, and singing on Jordan's Banks, on Jordan's hmm. Banks. Wow. And while I was taking a selfie of myself, right after I sang it, there was a sign that had Israeli writing on it in the background, and I was taking a picture, of taking a selfie, and I saw a bird land right behind me. I turned around, there was a white dove. <laughs> wow. And uh, I got really overcome emotionally. And this is right before I went into the water, 
And uh, I was one of the first, I was the first one of our group that got baptized. Some of them were older, and I was going to be helping bringing some of them down so they didn't fall in. So they wanted me to go first. But I got so overcome right after that. And the picture, I, it really does look like where he landed. He, it looks like an upside down cross, sort of that he's sitting on. It looks like this dove is sitting on a cross with his wings spread open. So that's uh, one of the most special photos I've ever taken. I got to call Donnie and talk to him and say, man, I just sang your song on Jordan's Banks, on Jordan's Banks. And he went on and on. It was over a Facebook messages and stuff. I didn't actually get to speak to him. I was out of the country, and but we were talking via text uh, and messenger and all that. And he just said that's the most special thing that had ever happened to him. Three days later, he passed away. By the time I got back home, his widow asked me if I would sing that at his funeral, and I did. And uh, that's always been a special song song to me for that reason. Wow. I got to sing it the day I got baptized in the Jordan River. Yeah. Wow. And it, it, it is it is a wonderful song. It's something we, you know, we... We were working on some of Elizabeth's vocals on this thing, and uh, everybody, all of us in the crow room were kind of tearing up all that while yeah. this thing was happening. It's yeah. just a, such a such a powerful message and such a great story behind it. Well, uh, it, for those of you who don't know, um, Chris is the son of William Lee Golden, longtime member and current member of the Oak Ridge Boys. Chris played drums for the Oak Ridge Boys for quite a while, but there's more of a family connection sitting right here with Elizabeth. Uh, you've been singing a lot with your family, your, uh, your dad, your kids, uh, Elijah also, who's not here today. Day. but uh, you've got a family project tell us a little bit about what's going on with that and all of you guys working together well I, I did spend about 17 years with Oak Ridge Boys for the ones that didn't know my dad's the guy with the long mm -hmm. beard he's uh that's the grandpa you know it's her grandpa so it's kind of our family business we've all done music for a long time and uh during the pandemic we all got shut down you know music was deemed non-essential uh, I've, I had been singing in churches for the last eight to nine years, uh, almost ten years, and the churches shut down, and we were all stuck at home. Well, Dad, with Dad's schedule, my schedule, my brother had been spending a lot of time overseas in Dubai doing a gig over there. The kids were all in school. All of a sudden, we found ourselves all sitting at home, and we didn't have anywhere to go. So we all uh, started having church at home and started doing some live streaming things at home. Uh, it was a mixed blessing. My mama was real sick during that time. It was right before she had passed. We got to spend every day with her uh, for the last little while. And so the pandemic was sort of a mixed blessing. And then we went into the studio. We first gathered, dad called us, me and my brother over said, hey man, we're all, all together. I want to keep my chops up, so let's sing. And we started singing around the piano. Then we wound up going into the recording studio and uh, doing 13 gospel songs, as we started with. We didn't feel like we were finished, so we recorded a dozen more old-time country songs and a lot of songs that Dad wanted to do. Uh, some of them we didn't even know. Uh, he was teaching us some of these older songs. And then we wound up doing one that's a little bit more of a country rock type thing, but got all the kids singing on it and Elizabeth's playing fiddle on it. And it's a three-generation family project. We did three albums, three generations, three genres. So it was a pretty cool project. We've gotten to go on to Grand Ole Opera here a couple of times in the past Fantastic. couple of you know, few months and, and debut some of that music and been touring with it a little bit. So we're having a good time. So, so Elizabeth, you're you're new to all this, being one of the the, the younger ones here. But uh, it's, it's such family legacy, and that's what I've always said. It's like almost any of us who who've been involved in gospel music, Christian music. It's because our our parents, our grandparents, my parents, my grandparents, they were all uh, in gospel music, and and you're you're one of those legacies as well. What's it What's it like uh, being able to get on stage with your with your dad, your grandpa, and your brother, and just uh, let it rip like that? Well, I I am new to the legacy, but I I. Been around it since I was very young. Um, I remember um, being encouraged to play the piano or bang on dishes as a drum set from, I mean, as soon as I could talk, I could sing. Um, and just, you know, everything from singing together when I was really little um, to learning to play the fiddle when I was about nine, which actually got told I was too old to learn how to play the fiddle or the violin when I was about nine years old when I started. And then we found a teacher who would take me on at my old age of nine years old. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And um, I, I learned 
classical for a while, then, you know, fiddle style, um, but getting to play with family, that's, that's the best gift of all. Um, and just see, like, the way my siblings and I are sort of nurtured in the music industry um, and just sort of had, like, a, an incredible opportunity to put our foot in um, where we chose to. So, I mean, my, I, I cut an album with Dad when I was 15 years old. Yeah, I had a and video. That's, he had yeah. a video. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something that every 15-year-old can say. Um, and then just as time's gone on, we're working on another one right now. But my favorite is just playing with family. But we, we do it at home anyway. Well, yeah, we do it. We just put it on an album now. <laughs> right. It's like now we, were, we go record it sometime. But mm -hmm. like what you're hearing out there, that's something we would do after after dinner on uh, you know, anytime it, went, it went, goes back to my mom's people. A lot of people, people talk about my dad. We're very proud of dad. My mama's family was mm -hmm. very talented too. She was one of eight brothers and sisters, and they all played and sang. And so when they got together, it was a double quartet sort yeah. of thing. All sang great harmony. In fact, my dad always wondered why her brothers didn't go pro or the sisters because he thought they were such great singers. But uh, we got it on both sides. But after every big holiday mm -hmm. meal, that's when everybody would gather around the piano, like a lot of families do, and play music. So we just, we were doing that whether we were in the recording studio or stage yeah. or not, we would do it at home anyway. So. Also with the very uh, niche talent of playing with spoons. We have spoon <laughs> players, washboard players. That's right. We would just make anything instruments, so. We would call them fam jams. Fam jams, yeah. yep. It would be after Christmas dinners, Easter's, all that. Those are some of my favorite memories. Well, we, we, we wanted to tell people about that so they could go out and, and get a taste of <laughs> that. Uh, Chris, how, how can people uh, follow your family project and your projects? Let us know how, how to... How it's to kind of a unique situation because we all, uh, we, we probably should have called ourselves the side hustlers. But what, <laughs> what it is is we all have something else going on. I mean, Elizabeth's got a business and she's an actor or actress and and in the entertainment business away from music but she also has a uh, you know her social sites elizabeth golden she released a christmas single this past year uh, and has an album that's about 75 percent done maybe and uh finished and so we're working on a new project for her uh, it's more of appalachian meets broadway kind of thing it's sort of really cool stuff I'm proud to be a part of it with her. And uh, ChrisGolden.net is my solo thing. William Lee Golden and the Goldens, that's a whole nother deal. And out of that, all the Goldens, we all have our individual websites, mm -hmm. but we also have a collective one, William Lee Golden and the Goldens. That's where you can get the family project. Mm -hmm. But you can follow us at all our individual ones, ChrisGolden.net, Elizabeth Golden on Facebook, and. Uh, we're all over the socials and stuff like that, so we're pretty easy to find. Uh, <laughs> so, and and folks, you will you will want to find them. Uh, we, you know, we love you guys. We appreciate you so much for uh, working on this project with 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 you, and uh, we've worked on this project with us. And uh, and do yourself a favor, check out all of the Goldens. You will not be disappointed. You will love everything you hear, guys. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. you again. We love you. God thank bless you. you, and we'll see you guys next time on sessions.